Welcome back to Benny's Custom Oaks, proudly supported by Sparesbox and Valvoline. Don't forget BCW5 on checkout. This week we're back on the Falcon, the reliable drift car that is. Gian didn't bin it into the wall, he was pretty close, but uh, it's lived to uh, thrash another wet skid pan. So every event we kind of get back together and have a bit of a chat and work out what we're going to do going forward. So the biggest issues at the moment are this thing is real boaty and it has not a lot of lock. So uh, we're going to tackle both of those things today. I've been on the phone to Mr. Porter who's got a pretty wicked uh, drift circuit uh, BA Falcon Ute. He's given me some information on how to make this thing have a lot more lock for zero dollars. So that's the sort of mods we like on this thing. Um, full caveat though, this mod that we are going to do today is strictly track only. Uh, we're basically going to be modifying suspension componentry, which in Australia is highly illegal for road use. Um, that in mind, use your use discretion, do it at your own risk. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it on a streetcar because it can potentially weaken the part we're going to modify. Um, that being said, this thing's basically just a wet pan car. So it is what it is really, I guess. Um, it's, it's much the same if we did a cut and shut on the steering arms there's still potential for them to fail. So um, in my opinion, this is no, no more dangerous than if we were gonna do a cut and shut um, or buy one of the kits that are cut and shut because they're all basically modified factory stuff. Uh, but we're gonna get up, pull the suspension out of it, have a look at it. I reckon it's probably gonna need upper control arm bushes as well, which I do have here if we need them. So we'll uh, rip the car apart and have a look and we'll get into it. Good, we're off to a good start. Ah, I need ear glasses. All of the lock, all of the time. On the side where we've create, where we've carried out the lock mod, that touches that bolt. That is now the lock stop. So we've now got all of that travel in lock on that side, and this is still factory geometry. That's crazy. That's pretty red hot for a zero dollar spend. All the Drift Falcons at the pan are going to be lit next season. So that is now the amount of lock that you have. That is a zero dollar spend and half an hour of work. La 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 lock. Oh, hello. We finished up in the, uh, the lock correction, adjustment, modification, whatever you want to call it. So now we're gonna dive into replacing the coilovers. I have actually checked the upper arm bushes and they look pretty good, surprisingly. So um, I'm just gonna put the coilovers in it for today, get the right height roughly where we want it. Um, and then it's time for wheel alignment. So we're gonna strip the strokes out. Oh, we're also gonna put wheels and tires on it today too. So we'll uh, go out the back and find something that actually fits it properly. And whether it be two pairs or a set, I'm not sure yet, but we'll uh, make it look pretty cool and get it back on the track as soon as possible. Stickers. 
on Hoff. It's less deafy than I was imagining. Hey! Falcon rear springs go in the back of a Buick. Time it is. It's wheel time. So we're gonna put these on it? No. I reckon we'll go these five spokes. Gian approves. Flushness. I just need to put some tires on. This tire is inside outside mounted. Actually a good car though now. Like once you fix the cosmetic side of it, it's a fucking garden a door. Oh, a couple of doors. Yeah, but realistically, like for a thousand bucks, if we put the doors on it ourselves and got a mate to paint the two doors in the guard, it'd be a thousand bucks. Weld the holes up in the boot. I actually don't hate the rear bar missing the bottom section, eh? I wouldn't love the front bar missing the lower section. It works on the back of this. And hopefully you don't munt the quarter. I'm pretty sure it comes up through here. I mean, it wouldn't be a fun job, but I could do it. Yeah, it joins there. Sick. So when you bin it, we can change a quarter. Because it joins in down there and it comes up through there and basically unpick the whole jam. We'll just pop rivet them on so the next time you tark out, we can pop rivet it on again. That's a lot of loss, bro. Yeah, for 20 minutes of drilling holes, that's like the best outcome you could wish for. Well, for once we've actually kicked some goals on the Falcon rather than it kicking my butt. Uh, the coilovers are in. Super easy install. Um, Shockwork stuff always works really well, especially Falcon and Aussie stuff. Massive thanks to those guys as well for their continued support. Um, if you're in the market for coilovers, please do check out the website. We'll leave a link in the description. The lock mod also worked really well. Shout out to Porter for that. His BA Falcon track car. We'll also leave some sort of a link to Porter. We'll leave it in the description as well. Hopefully all of these upgrades are actually gonna make it a much more enjoyable car to drive. Um, even watching some of Gian's videos myself, he's really working hard to make the car do what he wants. And I think with more lock and actually suspension that's not 150,000 Ks old and clapped and flogged out, it should, should be a much better car to drive. So um, also going down to a smaller wheel and tire, or sorry, a smaller wheel with more sidewall, I think it'll be a little bit more forgiving. Um, and also we're now on the same size wheels and tires. So we can just add this to the fleet of wheels and tires that we've got. Um, like I said before, if you and some mates get together, super easy to go and buy 50 tires. Uh, a lot of tire shops are really happy to sell cash and carry in those larger volumes. So um, yeah, they, there is a lot of money to be saved if you're kind of buying volume. So um, yeah, highly recommend if you're gonna build a drift car or if you've got mates with drift cars, that's a good strategy to try and buy tires at the same time because sitting them in the corner, yeah, well, it feels like a waste of money at the time when you're not paying $95 a tire, it definitely makes a massive saving in the long run. It's definitely me still talking. Now we are going to head to the wet pan. So we haven't quite made it to the skid pan yet. Um, Gian being the fiercely independent gentleman that he is, decided to have a crack at doing his own oil change and 
in the process of jacking the car up, it's actually slid off the jack. Um, now I wanna make it very clear, he wasn't trying to work under the car while it was on the jack, it was in the process of lifting it. Um, he's got a tile paved driveway, so it's very not trolley jack friendly. Um, and in doing that, it's basically killed the radiator, the fans and the shroud, uh, the lower radiator bracket, and also the aircon condenser is bent, but somehow hasn't vented all the gas. Um, so now we're gonna change the radiator and all the broken bits. And I think we're gonna be able to just flatten out that lower bracket because they're basically just pressed tin. So um, yeah, we're gonna whack it together. And then hopefully next time you see me talking, it'll be at the skid pan, but who knows? Don't work on your car again without being supervised. And he didn't do the service. <laughs> and I'm not doing the service. I think we're done then. Yeah, that's pretty good. Today. You know what? As bad as this is, this radiator was buggered anyway. Like you can see the tank, the plastic's all gone yellow right and brown. Right so I'm sure it wasn't far off exploded anyway. So. It's, it's actually really, really good that you decided to put your jack through it. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel a tiny bit better. The radiator was definitely on borrowed time. <laughs> Lucky I had nothing else to do today. Today, the day that I decided to talk yeah. shit. <laughs> yeah. How good. Hey, can you do that? You can't kick flip a radiator. Send this, we'll send this straight to the barracks. Oh, cool borders. <laughs> oh, yeah. That plastic will just explode when it gets to pressure. Mm. So like say for instance on a wet pan where you're like giving it hell. Yeah, right. So you're yeah, pretty lucky that didn't explode. <laughs> Better go to the freaking skid pan tomorrow night now.
So I've made it down to wet pan. We've got the Falcon out here again. What's the what's the vibes? How do you feel over last time? It, it, it's really improved heaps. Um, I'm a big fan of having a bit more lock because where I've um, kind of thought I've overdone it, I've end up being able to steer. You've still a got a bit more, and it kind of saves it. And yeah, it's it's nice. Mm. Definitely a good mod. Yeah, happy, nice. Happy I mean, one. that's literally the cheapest thing we've done to this car so far. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then I guess on the other end of the spectrum with the coilovers, how does that kind of compare to the stock stuff? Like, is yeah, it like, heaps more controllable now? Yeah, it's just heaps more predictable. I yeah. guess. Um, yeah. 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 Nice. And I guess the wheels probably haven't really changed a lot of the feel, but... I, I can't, yeah. I don't know what's doing what. I mean, because yeah. we've changed those few things, but it all all, all, all around it. The whole package is kind of working a lot better. I guess the only other thing which is a little bit different tonight is um, the guys here have actually changed the layout. So we're not technically back to backing the same track, but I suppose you can still get a feel. And I mean, you know, when you're on the lock normally like and you can now chuck in a heap more lock and and same thing with the suspension you're not driving like this anymore like the car's a lot more flat and planted yeah yeah so in in saying that um yeah the, the power steering has definitely given out i don't know um exactly how or or what but um yeah i just i just can't steer it sometimes um i don't know what's going on but yeah power steering's definitely an issue and um just got to adjust the handbrake because I'm yeah. finding I'm maxing it out before it's locking up. Yeah, okay, so we've got so. a few, few little things to tackle. Um, I think we probably should have put a power steering cooler on it the day we did that pump, but being that that was such a saga, um, oh, yeah. yeah, going forward, I think we'll probably actually just put a proper transmission cooler in the front of the, ra in front of the radiator as a power steering cooler. Um, we'll try flushing the fluid, and if that doesn't work, we'll probably have to go to another pump. Yep. Um, I, I'm pretty confident the rack's not dead because they generally don't die in Falcons, but it may be a thing with the pump. Um, but awesome result. Yeah. The car's pretty well transformed compared to what it was last episode. So uh, go team, high yeah, fives to you. us, thank good you. driving. Really um, it looks so much better out there too. Like the car, you can see, obviously you can see that you're progressing as well. So having a little bit more leeway with a bit more lock, the car's more controllable and it's more predictable rather than yeah. kind of slapping around in the in the marshmallow so yeah, yeah. It's no it's a win fun. so yeah massive thanks to shockworks the coilovers work fantastically um if you want to if you want coilovers for well any car but falcons and commodores specifically uh these guys definitely know what's up thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time